Well, hello everyone. I said goodbye to the Hornet. Waited for many years for this bike and crashed it on my first ride. Anyway, all that's in the past, isn't it? Now let's get down to this bike. It's a GSX S1000. I've already done 1400 kilometers on it. And what do I think? It's fabulous, really. Um, very comfortable. Love the stock sound. I'm not going to change the pipe. It really is very good. And I hope you can hear me because I'm using an external recorder this time because the audio in my GoPro really um, wasn't up to it these days so I've decided to try something new, a bit more work but I hope the sound quality will be worth it. So what have I done to this bike since owning it? I put the handlebar risers on it as I do with most bikes. Um, just because I'm old and if I have to lean over all the time my back doesn't cope and they look fine they look good I've put some oggy knobs on it as you can see particularly after the the uh, the crash pity I didn't have them on beforehand anyway I put a Ventura rack on it which looks quite good on this bike I changed the tyres straight away from those stock ones which I really didn't enjoy and you can probably understand why I put Conti Road attacks on but they come sticky, pretty much sticky straight out of the box I mean you do have to be careful on them like all tyres I've also put the angled valves on this um, like I do on all my bikes again because I hate trying to <sighs> to do the to fill up the tires when you can't get the hose in there it's just very frustrating so this bike oh, it's 150 horsepower I think it's about 110 newton meters of torque, roughly. I could be corrected there. It's about 209 kilos wet. Just a really nice bike. So it's got a big tire on the back, a 190. And even with that tire, it's very flickable. But it is good to be back on the bike good to be doing a video once more so again I thank the guys who have stuck with me so people talk about the downsides with these bikes what what what's the pros and cons the pros are the looks I just love the look of this thing I think that Suzuki have done an incredible job on the styling that's one big plus for me you want to you want to like the look of your bike I think you know I think that's important the comfort for me is a plus um, really really comfortable particularly with the risers after about 300 k's my ass gets a bit sore but I think you get that with most bikes um, some people put the Saddleman seat on it or a Corbin seat, some aftermarket seat, but at this stage I don't need to. So 
Some people have complained about the fueling and at slow speed it's a bit jerky and the throttle response really. Uh, the 2019 model they did a lot of work on it where they improved it dramatically and uh, it's almost almost perfect I think I found the right gear to do slow speeds in so it's smooth um, another positive is the the, the sound, I love the sound of this motor, I love the sound of the exhaust, for a stock machine it's, it's fantastic, it's just spot on, you know, one of the best sounding stock bikes out there, um, what could have it had standard, it could have had a quick shifter, but I've never had one so I haven't missed it um, to me this has got far more than any bike I've ever had um, They, even though when you read the reviews or look at the reviews on YouTube they say it's a pretty basic bike because it doesn't have the riding modes that many of them do um, The only thing it has is like a four stage traction control, so there's off and one, two, three. It's got ABS um, as well. It's got a fuel gauge. Woohoo! None of my bikes have ever had a fuel gauge. I accept my really, really little cheap CF Moto had a fuel gauge. This has got a gear indicator, which none of my bikes have had except that little cheap CF Moto. Tells you how many kilometres you do per litre, it tells you the range, um, all the stuff which is pretty standard these days, which I've never had. So I like that. I'm enjoying the gear indicator. I've really never had one and never felt the need for it, but it's nice to look down and check which gear you really are in. Um, I like that. What else am I going to do to it? Very little. What I might do is get the little fly screen, and trust me, it's not for the wind. I like naked bikes because you can feel the wind. I think that's great. And this little fly screen will not really reduce the wind in any way by the look of it. But why would I want it? And it's purely because of looks. Just to finish it off a bit um, would be nice. And the last thing I will get is the heated hand grips. Um, I get very cold hands and I will get the Oxford heated hand grips. Like when I originally was looking for this bike I was um, looking at second hand ones. I was looking for the red and black one. I really love that colour, however they don't make them anymore. And I almost, almost purchased a matte black, which was a demo at a very good price, but I was able to pick up this new one for the same money. And I love the blue now that I have it. In Australia you don't see many of these around. Um, not sure why. So I think they're very good value. But if anyone else has one, I'd be interested in your thoughts.
the pros and cons put them in the uh, in the comments below oh boy the sound and the and the acceleration of this thing is just fabulous they say with this bike when you get past I think it's around the 6,000 revs it just becomes like a beast it's got the old K5 motor in it which is Suzuki's one of the most famous motors it is a lot of fun I tell you beautiful gearbox Suzuki's gearboxes are always nice and every bike I've owned bar the Honda and the CF Moto has been a Suzuki starting with the Suzuki A100 then the um, GS500 then I had two Hondas um, I had a, also a Suzuki GN250 then I had the two Hondas, the two Hornets and now I'm back on Suzuki Some people said they get a bit of a tank slap on these bikes and a number of people put steering dampeners on. I've never had anything like that but yet I'm a very sedate rider. Some of these guys might be really giving up some. Okay, so a couple of things about this bike that Suzuki have got on all their bikes now and they've had it for a few years is um, all you have to do is touch that starter oh, let me do up my helmet, shall I? silly me all you have to do is touch the starter and it will fire with older Suzuki's you have to put the clutch in while you're starting it so it's nice that you don't have to do that anymore and the other thing it has this throttle assist I think it's called where when you take the clutch out the revs build up just ever so slightly so the bike just goes I'll show you okay clutch out no throttle and the bike just goes just a couple of nice little touches and one I had to get used to actually when I first got on it because I wasn't used to it going off so easily oh it's great to be back on the bike and it really is nice to be making another video for you again and a bit later I'll get uh, the uh, the camera back on the handlebars that'd be nice of a tight corner was he not even looking I'm bright blue and with a bright my bike is bright blue with a bright green helmet and my light on how could he not see me well guys thank you for coming with me today 
hope you enjoyed it. So in conclusion, the bike is brilliant. Very, very pleased. Here she is. This is a great bike. I really like it. Thanks for watching.